We make the streams louder. Hello everyone, Sun Video here by Legend. This is part three to the cooking guide for you guys here today. We're gonna to be talking about you know actual recipes, how much money you're going to be making with them. I'll we'll talk to you guys about imperial cooking, you know, regular recipes, etc. etc. All that good shit. Now, first we're gonna start off with imperial cooking. I'm actually gonna show you guys where the vendor is in High Dell City, is where I told you guys to post up in the original video. But this is where the vendor is in High Dell City. I'm gonna show you the layout of imperial cooking. Now, the reason I'm doing this is because now I'm showing you guys that there are different levels or yeah different levels of recipes that you can hand in based on your cooking level now the higher the cooking level the you know increase of money you'll make the more the boxes cost but you know it's just more money now sometimes the recipes are more difficult to make and I'm also going to talk about the efficiency and what recipes you should focus on within this imperial cooking now getting into it before we actually start with talking to you guys about the recipes and what you should be doing to make money essentially you're gonna need a higher level and you're gonna ask yourself what can I do to get the highest level most efficiently you know when it comes to cooking so how am I gonna get the highest level now what I'm cooking here is what you guys should be cooking it's essence of liquor essence of liquor requires one flour of any kind one leavening agent and one fruit now where you get the fruit is in Calfion I'll show you guys where the fruit vendor is you go to Calfion you type in fruit into the NPC bar and you know the fruit vendors there you buy strawberries because it's 700 all the other fruits and vegetables are a thousand and over obviously you save money um, but that's where you should be getting your fruit from. You could ship it over to Heidel, which I do overnight. Um, I buy about 14,000 at a time, so it's about 10 mil. And uh, I just ship it over and I cook it. And you know, I grind my flour while I'm sleeping or I go to work. And I come back, I have about 8,000 flour, and then I come back and just cook all day. So essentially, that's what I do. Um, you should be spam cooking essence of liquor. I'm actually going to put a calculator in the description below that actually calculates how much essence of liquor and how much you will need to cook to actually level up. And it actually factors in your percentage of your level and the percentage bonuses that you get from your cooking clothes, from, you know, for example, the suit tees and your um, your embroidered clothes, as you see here. So all these gives a percentage, it calculates all that good stuff, and, you know, it puts it right in there. It tells you how much supplies you will need actually to level to the next level. Um, now, now you guys know about that. We're going to actually get into Imperial Cooking. Now, some of the recipes you should be focus on, focusing on, no matter what level of cooking you are, is honey wine good smelling, boiled egg, and sometimes fried fish. If you're a fisher, um, sometimes you you know you, you will you know cook some of your fish. Essentially, I only do this when I'm farming relic shards. Um, there's certain spots that you can go to. Uh, essentially, you don't want to be wasting, you know, if, say, for example, you go to a really good fishing spot and you're making about two, three mil you, uh, an hour, or you're making two, three mil off of a hand in for those fish, you know, especially ocean fish, you don't want to be wasting those fish. You can make a lot, a lot more money or it's more worth it to hand those in than to actually turn them into fried fish. Essentially, what you want to be doing is capturing um, lake fish, like the river fish, the regular fish, not ocean fish. They sell for a lot less and they're more worth turning into fried fish than the ocean fish that sell for 200K, 50K, 35K a piece. So essentially, that's why fried fish is kind of not efficient because you do have to spend the time to actually catch them and, um, you know, it, it can be good if you're in, if you don't really care about fishing essentially but anyways honey wine good smelling and boiled egg are the three ones you should be focusing on they're the three recipes that are the first to be finished now if you're a high level cooker if you're a master cooker if you're an artisan cooker um you should be focusing on you know higher level um recipes due to the fact that the money you get from them are significantly higher as i as you see here these masters recipes are 400k and over a box. Obviously, some of these recipes are a little bit harder to make, but when you get to that level of cooking, you should have those recipes and have those supplies to provide yourself with them to be able to craft it regardless. Now, some of the higher level recipes you guys could focus on or some of the, the two that I would personally focus on will be the tea and the dark pudding. Reason being is that oatmeal is very, the dark pudding is very easy to make. It takes um, oatmeal, pickled vegetables, and blood of any kind very very easy to make um, and then the tea is very easy to make you can actually buy it off the marketplace and make it yourself um, one thing I do want to mention about Imperial cooking is that you can buy these supplies off the marketplace in the amount that it need that that is needed for the box and you will make a profit your profit margin will obviously be a lot smaller but you still actually make a decent amount of profit from this reason being is that Imperial cooking is the most efficient hand in essentially when you buy a certain amount of items say for example um, boiled egg is 30 um, boiled eggs for a box 
30 boiled eggs on the market does not even come close to how much is giving you on the Imperial cooking reason why they only let you hand in 30 because it's the most efficient um, money maker or just hand in period for the item itself way more efficient than selling it on the marketplace reason being is that this is the reason why Imperial cooking is going to be 99% of your money because it nothing nothing is more efficient than it 60 um, for the dark pudding hand in 60 dark puddings on the market is nowhere near 400 20 something thousand on the imperial market it, on imperial market it's, it's not even close not even half that maybe one eighth um that's how efficient it is and that's why it's going to be pretty much your only money source now going on to the regular recipes hopefully you guys kind of took that all in you could sit there calculate some of the numbers on some of the things i'll put in the description below i'm going to put a few different calculators in there show you you know how much you need to actually cook some of the recipes i'll put also an, another again the recipe link in the description below so you guys could check it out and maybe do some of your own math now getting into the regular recipe or one regular recipe that is actually worth cooking but is actually not worth cooking um essentially what it's going to be is good and organic feed i personally would do organic feed just because it sells for significantly more and it goes a lot faster but a lot of people will say oh you make a, a crap ton of Money an hour, you can go look up on YouTube. Um, you'll find oh, 75 mil an hour cooking good feed and or organic feed. It's not true. Um, reason being is that those times where good feed and organic feed was actually like useful or, you know, that's a different time that video was made. You could have made that much money. Um, times change with every patch. Things change with, you know, new characters, new classes being added. Things change in the game and everything is not the same. So keeping in mind, if even if a video is a couple months old, take it, take it with a grain of salt because it it might not work for you um, essentially good and organic feed are worth it because they sell so fast still but the amount of supplies and things you will need to actually make it is almost not worth due to the fact that you could put those same supplies into the imperial cooking and make five times more money with five times less supplies and five times less work to get the supplies and to make the box and the recipe so essentially Good organic feed is probably the only thing that's worth making outside of Imperial Cooking due to the fact of its sellability. Like if you make it, you'll actually sell that day or within the hour or within a few minutes. The thing you got to gotta understand is that the marketplace doesn't work instantaneously. When you put something on a marketplace, it takes a while for it to even fucking show up. So a lot of people are saying, oh, you make this much money an hour. It's not true. That thing actually still has to sell for you to make um, money. You see videos on YouTube make 50 mil, 20 mil an hour. You don't actually make that money. You don't. You make that in in liquid. In liquid, not necessarily. You don't necessarily have liquid silver on you. You have it in just storage, or you have twenty mil worth or seventy five mil worth of items in your storage that has to actually sell to give you that liquid amount of silver. Um, so essentially, just keep that with a grain of salt. Um, I don't recommend making it, but if you guys wanted another recipe outside of Imperial Cooking, due to the fact that it's limited by its rng system of resetting and it's limited by how many contribution points you have half your contribution points is how many boxes you can hand into imperial cooking so essentially i have 147 half 147 73 so i can hand in 73 boxes worth of imperial cooking stuff and that's it so if you guys want another recipe outside of imperial cooking i take my chances with good and organic feed just because it actually fucking sells and it's actually the most efficient essentially kind of when it comes to just it's just the only thing that sells um really it's what it is you don't want to waste your time making other recipes that won't sell um so that's really it i uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video a lot of this stuff will be on the screen a lot of this stuff will be in the description so if you if i missed anything throw in the comments below i will fix it i will tell, tell you about it i will talk to you guys about it but hope you guys enjoy the video like comment subscribe and i'll see you guys next time Woo, that was rough that was rough